Hey, what is up you guys? So my buddy Shane was over and he brought over his 1987 Toyota pickup with a 22R and he was having an idle problem with it. So me being the Toyota guru, he asked if I could help him try to sort out this idle issue. So we're gonna dive right into that and see if we can get it to idle correctly. Let's get to it. I drove it from my house to the gas station just fine. Left it running while I was, grabbed your beer, grabbed some rock stars, ran just fine. Threw it reverse, backing up, go to leave, on its nose. Even out here, right outside your place, I was going about 20, let off the gas, and had to restart it. And then another thing that I'll eventually have you check out is possibly brakes, because sitting at a stoplight, pulling the brakes, they'll go softer and softer and softer until they're fully engaged and it doesn't build up the pressure when you pump them. I like the TV. Yeah, that's my grandpa's old TV. Um, helped him switch finally to the smart TV and decided, well, free winter weight. Right, everything in its original except for the stereo deck, of course. That's aftermarket. They didn't come with it in this one, which it doesn't work. It's pretty sweet. It's a four speed. Four speed, two wheel drive. Two hundred and seventy-three thousand miles, all original. But I know I've got a leak here. You shouldn't. That'd be blow by. You shouldn't have any oil coming through right there. We're actually taking this thing off. So. She's a dirty girl. Oh yeah, I didn't even realize that. Here, hold that. Closing. Mmm, smell that clean eh? Probably not good to breathe that in too much. Oh, come on, man. Where's your sense of adventure? All right, how about you give her a good old crank? Give her the old crank crank. Are you having to keep the gas on it still? Yeah. You have to do some poking around. All right, so. All right, so I'm going to look for a vacuum leak. I'm going to spray some simple green around and see if I can. Try to do a lower idle. Where it's like almost dying. Okay, keep on a lower idle.
Okay, speaking of satchels of Richards, so couldn't find any leaks in here. Picked off the distributor cap and the contacts were pretty bad on it, so filed those down, cleaned them off with some electrical cleaner, toilet paper, memory board, pink towel, the works. The pink or lavender? I don't know. Oh, no, it's a towel. <laughs> I don't know those colors. Color's not important. So we're going to try this out and see if we can get her to idle. Give her a go. Watch your toes and fingers. <clears throat> Keep your hands inside at all times. Come on, old girl. Uh, we forgot a part. <laughs> it's not going to do real good without that. <laughs> Double hashtag fail. You need this for it to run. Hey, that's... Uh... Alright, full send, version 2. Just your contacts on your uh, distributor cap and rotor, I think, were bad. This wasn't allowing enough spark to go through. Uh -huh. Cool. That's awesome. Well, still having issues with the idle, but thinking it might just need a, more of a tune-up. So is it usually a buck like that? Yeah. Okay. Only in first gear. Once it's warmed up, it's a little bit better, but it's real, real touching first. So after Aaron and I worked on it, we cleaned the distributor cap, checked for vacuum leaks and everything like that. We uh, drove around the block, still having problems with it cutting out at low idle. Uh, whether or not the clutch was engaged didn't really matter. But I drove it from his place to the local grocery store to go pick up my fiance and rode it hot, hard and heavy in a lower gear just to kind of see if, you know, try and flush out the carburetor cleaner, try and push whatever through it. And for some reason, now, I mean, less than, probably less than five minutes after I left his place and was doing that, it's idling just fine. I uh, will still do the spark plugs, the distributor cap, the rotor, wires, all that stuff, trying to get that all done up. But, I mean, for a 87 Toyota with 273,000 miles on it, I'll see if I can flip this around. I don't think I can. Uh, 273,164.8 miles on it. It's not a bad investment. I mean, it gets about twice the gas mileage my 08 Silverado gets. So once we get that done, get all that tuned up, next I'm hoping to convince him to help me fix my radio and get my cigarette lighter working so I can charge my damn phone. And then we'll uh, maybe go from there and check the axle seals and fluids and just kind of go over it front to back. We'll see how much uh, work I can get out of him. All right. Well, thank you for the update, Shane. Glad that you were able to run a little bit more and glad that idle did clear out. We're definitely going to do some more work on it. I always like working on those 22 hours. So with that, I think I'm gonna wrap this up. If you like what you see, please share, like, and subscribe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace.